course it fell through, idiot. <laughs> anyway, so there it is. But um, something is very interesting here. <laughs> I just discovered you can do something with a fibre laser that you're not supposed to be able to do. I'll show you. And this is what you're not strictly supposed to be able to do with a fibre laser. And I just by accident found out, well, yes, you can. Uh, so let me just thread like that. Oh, we have a little bit of text there. And fire. Not supposed to be able to do that. In actual fact, it's too powerful. <laughs> I'm gonna have to knock the power back a bit, I think. Okay, I've just made it a little bigger, and I've knocked the power back a bit, and I've taken the speed up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Okay, not a lot. So I'm going to take the take the power back up again. Okay, try this. Okay, the speed is too much. Stop. Okay, try again. So, with today's experimentation, there's the hole, or there's the hole, there's the piece out of the hole. So you can cut, successfully cut, uh, a hole into aluminium, and bear in mind aluminium is very difficult to, uh, or for any laser to penetrate, because the metal is so reflective. Um, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Not too much trouble either. But, what you're not supposed to do, or be able to do, is that. A fiber laser is not supposed to react or interact with organic matter at all. Um, I've just discovered why it is um, and it's used in the same principle as when I was uh, colour marking uh, stainless steel. Uh, it's out of focus so it is generating heat and it doesn't really matter what the material is I don't think. Um, I'm going to do quite a bit more work or experimentation on 
woods uh, and see I should be able to get a better result than that. I think I should be able to get a near perfect uh, result into this material or any type of organic material at all. It's just a matter of, uh, I, I suppose, getting the power and the speed right uh, and getting the focus right. Because at the moment, that is approximately, uh, let me see, that's 20 millimeters out of focus. So, hmm, that is worth investigating. So, I think this is going to be a short little video today, but uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my efforts today, and I hope to you, and I hope you, and I hope you join me again for another video. It's probably going to be another fiber laser actually this is getting quite exciting <laughs> okay uh, like subscribe and uh, if you really like what I'm doing you may consider becoming a patron to the channel because it's the patrons behind the channel that uh, keep everything going and of course being a, a high-tech channel like this you know it's uh, it's very expensive to uh, create videos on these subjects <laughs> So, um, okay then, so till the next video, it's bye for now.